This video brought to you by Coffee and Fumes. Check the link in the description to get amazing deals on candles and candle accessories. Hello everybody, this is Josh, also known as the Pocket Programmer, on behalf of Chainmail Supernova, the new name for this channel. And today I want to show you a little bit about how to make a very simple song, or a complicated song, up to you. I'm going simple. Uh, a nice simple song you can make for your video games. This is using a website called Beepbox, and you can see the address up on the top of your screen, beepbox.co, not to be confused with C-O-M. And what you can see here is if you look more towards the bottom of the screen, you have a bunch of ones followed by a bunch of zeros. We have one row all blue, one yellow, one red, one gray, and these represent the four different tracks. And if I just start touching randomly on the screen, we get some different sounds, and this is what we're going to use to make our music. And if I just play, you'll hear what it would sound like. Not much of a song, but not bad for something that I just kind of randomly did. I'm going to delete those. And I'm going to choose to do something that's maybe a little bit more, oh, I don't know, on purpose. Uh, today I'm going for an old school video game sound. So when I look under here, under type, it says flutter pad right now. If I click on that... I can choose different uh, different types of instruments. And what I'd like to do is pick one that sounds the most like the old school video game music. And that is somewhere up here we have, should be a square and a triangle sound. Not like the triangle, uh, the percussion instrument, square wave and triangle wave. Uh, we also have square lead. They're all kind of similar. I'm just gonna go with square wave and you can get a sound of what that's like. So, pretty old school with our video game sounds. And I'm just going to choose something pretty simple. Um, and we'll see how that sounds when I play it. And that's actually pretty annoying if you ask me, so I'm going to try that again. I can handle it once, but uh, we can do better. So there's other things you can do too, like you can make it shorter. And that way you can have a little bit of space in between them and maybe make this sound a little bit crazier. Oops. The wonderful thing about just kind of making weird random video game noises is you can screw it up and it still might turn out okay. So let's hear what this sounds like. So probably a little bit more like what we're used to in the old school video games. Uh, now what that's done is that's done track one. Uh, I should say that's pattern one on the first track. And if I click here, you can see where I'm highlighted kind of down left. If I click the up arrow, I can change it to track two and now I have something fresh to work with. So I'm not just doing the same thing over and over again. I'm going to try and do something kind of in the same vein, but maybe not exactly the same. And I'm just going to have my pattern go one, two, one, two. Uh, upper right, I have some controls here. So I'm gonna go back to the beginning and play this all the way through, see what that sounds like. And that's just gonna keep repeating. Uh, obviously, I can put as much thought as I want to into this. Uh, I'm not going to overdo it. This is just kind of a, an instructional show you how you can make your own music uh, for your video games. And uh, certainly, I would put a little more thought into this if I was making a song I was actually going to use. Uh, so that's one track. Now, I can also change tracks. If I go down to the yellow, I can now change instruments. Um, keeping in the vein of um, at least somewhat video gamey sounding. How about we go with what Music Box 2 sounds like. And 
this I accidentally made a little bit of a chord there too uh so this might go together well it might not let's give it a try <laughs> Not bad. Uh, I'm gonna keep it rather than changing it. And I could add a third uh, music track in the red. Uh, usually what I like to do is put my drums in the gray, however. In drums, we have several different drum noises. I'm actually gonna come back to that. There's, you can see a bunch down here, but you have like your standard drum set. And depending on where you click, you get lots of different things. I, however, wanna go with this chip noise because we're going with the whole video game style. Um, and it's just different, oops, so this will just add some uh, percussive sounds to our music, and let's see how this one sounds. And that can repeat. I could make that longer if I wanted. Uh, but again, as just an example, I think this is sufficient. It only took us a couple minutes. We made a song that's usable at the very least as a placeholder. Uh, there's a lot more for you to mess around with here. I would say the last thing you probably want to know is how to export it. So if I click on file and I click my export song, I can name it whatever I want. You can have loop, you can have intro, you can have outro, uh, file types. I always save everything as a wave, but you have different options for um, uh, like an mp3 or I guess I'm not totally sure what the point of some of these other ones are the HTML I believe is just a link to the song that you saved um, but however you want to do it you know that's uh, that's what works for you so I hope you enjoyed please don't forget to like and subscribe and we will catch you in future videos